two, one. No. <laughs> Not the time. You know, see, you should be on your screen. Oh, I'm trying to see. duck, you yeah. hear <laughs> me? You know, see it, darling. Look at my courage on OEs, I'm splurging. All day and all night, but my liver working. These hoes be choosing, and I don't do flirting. But man, if that ass fat, I might put some work in. Cause Lick up my courage on OEs, I'm splurging. Lick up my courage on OEs. I just want to let y'all know. I do not condone this at all, you dig? We just checking out this video, man. This is but a if group I get of the shot. <laughs> who I'll be exposing <laughs> today know. by showing them their own webcam. Three, two, one. Look at your face, your little scam in the face. I'm gonna send the police to your house. Yeah, cover the webcam. Me, I think You're out of your mind. You Watch how he hacked into these scammers and how he stopped their scam operation. The scammer that you currently see on the screen is based out of the city Abuja in Nigeria, West Africa. That's crazy. Imagine getting scammed somebody in a total different country, bro. You can't even pull up on them if you want to, for real, for real. The type of scams they run is a fake celebrity scam also known as a celebrity impersonator. However, these scammers don't just impersonate anybody. They impersonate my friends Scammer Payback and Trilogy Media, who are friends and fellow scam baiters that fight against scammers. We spoke a couple of months ago about this idea as we realized most of the victims were already victims of scams who just needed some help. The types of messages they post are like this. Text me on Telegram, the Trilogy underscore team, asking people to reach out for assistance. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Somebody text me talking about some reach out to them through Telegram. I'm good, brother. Like, at this point in my life, you can have my phone number, fam. I ain't got nothing to hide, brother. Like, I'm not texting you through no third party app and all that, no WhatsApp, no none of that shit, man. If you in the United States, man, you can have my number, you hear me? Let's do this business, man. Or they message you like this. Hello? We are scammers. Then I don't know if y'all know, but have y'all ever received like them text messages them, them, them text messages through email? Not email, through Instagram. Like receive messages through Instagram, you know, or somebody you may have went to school with, or somebody you may have known from the past or whatever. And they reach out to you talking about, oh, I'm in jail and I'm down and I'm out. Can you send me a little something or whatever the case may be in that type of form, bro? Like. Oh, how you even find my Instagram? You dig? Like, I don't know, man. That shit crazy. Payback support. We help people to recover all lost funds and hacking problem. Let us know if you have such problem, okay? Uh. It is easy for a victim to fall for these type of recovery Oh, you got them boys. They face really all want over their the money camera, back that they lost. Scammers will use tactics such as an increase of followers or making a slight name change to trick the victim. Uh. But silly enough, then it's so easy to get scammed you did because you could just buy followers you know what I mean? you could buy sixty thousand followers and make your page look like some shit you dig and you really wouldn't know because everybody not verified if you really didn't pay for this shit it's, it's a lot of shit then on top of that i'll be the type of person that if i do do a scam I'll fuck around and leave my I've location seen these on. scammers slip up when they forget to change yeah. their account location, I leave my location and on. the Nigerian phone number on the account. So I started collecting a bunch of these accounts and investigating. The conversation initially starts like this. They will tell you that they can recover all your funds and that you will need to submit evidence that mm. you were actually a victim. Following up by explaining you will need to purchase an activation code for mm. a recovery software that will be bought off the dark web. When asked for the name of this recovery software, they gave me a random software name. With a simple so wait, Google search so wait, of these, wait, 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 when wait. asked for the name of this recovery up by explaining you will need to purchase an activation code for a recovery software that will be bought off the dark web. So they tell you that the software they're using is being bought off the dark web, but they give you a basic ass software that you could just Google and it pop up? Like, yeah, dog, like certain shit like that is just, I guess when you, you know, when you so pressed on getting back or whatever happened with your situation or whatever, you want to get your bread back, 
you willing to go above and beyond but you're not really thinking about getting scammed again because you feel like they're trying to help you but i don't know man when asked for the name of this recovery software they gave me a random software name mm. with a simple google search of these softwares it was clear that this recovery software was nothing but a scam. You could get a boss then they Google. followed up by saying there was a price for this software, and each of them gave a different number for the price they wanted to charge. I came to the conclusion, if you were scammed out of $2,000, the scammer would take 10% and charge you $200 for the software. But if you were scammed for $500, the scammer would only charge you $50 for this fake recovery software. So wait, let's break that down, you hear me? So you mean to tell me y'all out here risking y'all life for two hundred dollars a two hundred dollars a jug or fifty dollars a jug? So just imagine I was to sign up to be a scammer. You I'm not no scammer. I'm just saying, what if I was to sign up to be a scammer? And my first hit is five hundred. I mean, the the person who they sent me lost five hundred, and I'm only gonna get ten percent of that, which is fifty dollars. Imagine getting caught trying to scam somebody for fifty dollars, brother. Because I'm not doing nothing less than a hundred thousand. You hear me? Like, if I'm gonna scam, bitch, I'm gonna scam big. I'm not scamming no nigga for no fifty or no two hundred dollars. But I guess they not looking at the process of getting caught. They like, man, if I do X amount of two hundred dollars a day or X amount of fifty dollars a day, I got a big payout. You know what I'm saying? So it all makes sense. But I don't know, brother. I don't think I could risk my freedom. For no $50, 200 dollars like nah. They charge you fifty dollars for this fake recovery software. Some of them even sent a third-party Instagram page that was apparently a recovery <laughs> expert that <laughs> they said smart they help is. Me out. However, this is where the bro look how smart they is. Like they really got this shit down to a T. So they on some shit like this. Look, we gonna see y'all an expert. You hear me? To let y'all know I'm not bullshit. This shit really legit, dog. Like, that's crazy. That was apparently a recovery expert that they said would help me out. Mm. However, this is where the main part of the scam takes place. Because they will send you to the local Bitcoin ATM to send them Bitcoin or buy gift cards. When I asked ChatGPT if it's a scam to send someone money asking to help Hey, y'all let me know in the chat if y'all ever used chat GPT before. I ain't never used that, brother. Like, I don't know. I might have to check that out one day. Recover my funds. They said, yes, it almost certainly is. And specifically for the following reasons down below. After some social engineering skills, I was able to they get locked into in some the of these scammers they and in. investigate who they were. Special thanks to Nanobeta and Dan, mm. who helped with their assistance. Their channels will be linked down below. I came to realize that these scammers weren't just doing the fake celebrity scams, but they were doing multiple different scams as well, such as this scammer who was doing romance scams, as well as this <laughs> other scammer pretending romance to be trading scam, or like who was type doing shit. fake IRS tax return scams, scamming people out of thousands of dollars. Bro, you letting a nigga do your taxes. That's telling you sent information through Telegram, bro? Nah, game. Media, who's doing fake nah, IRS tax return scams, nah, scamming gang. people out of thousands of dollars. Nah, game. Whilst having access to these scammers, we were able to see many things on their computer systems, mm. including personal files. Now these niggas that hacked them boys' computer, bro. That's wild. And documents. On these specific files, I was able to see clear proof that these individuals were in fact scamming, as I saw victims sending them checks, mm. hundreds of gift cards, and even Bitcoin transactions, which amounted uh. to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Damn. We were able to trace back some of these wallets and even locates where some of these funds had gone into. All this information would then be passed on to law enforcement. Inside mm. their Telegram accounts, I was able to see all the chats they were having with their victims, in which I reached out to these victims, letting them know what was going on. Their Telegram accounts also gave another crucial piece of evidence, which confirmed their location, as all of these devices were all logged in from Abuja, Nigeria, Africa. I realized that these scammers were not living in the poor parts of Nigeria, but on the contrary, they were living uh. in the built and wealthy parts in Nigeria. <laughs> we found many personal pictures on the computer with friends. Man, check them out, you hear me? <laughs> Boy, fresh to death with his stone slippers on, you dig? With family. 
Man, check them out, man. With the Gucci slippers on. And even clear images of the... That's wild, bro. Scammer. That would later confirm that we had access to the right person scamming. Such as this scammer who was pretending to be Trilogy Media. <laughs> Just take a look and tell me it's not the same person. The same person. These scammers enjoyed... We got the Chanel on. Chanel with the Gucci hat. You hear me, man? What's up, man? Splashing their cash on luxury designer items with the scam money that they mm. had scammed for. My investigation would be centered on this individual who is doing the- I ain't gonna lie, I can't trust a scammer to have no legit Gucci design on, man. That shit probably fake too, you hear me? Romance scams, and he had done some questionable things that I've seen. He kept his romance scam script in his email mm. in which he would just copy and paste each line into a new victim and try scam the- I want to apologize for the inconvenience of approach to approach you. Now, good profile. How are you doing today? I hope everything is fine. That's cool. You're welcome. I'm doing great as well. For Thanks for asking. Dog, like, what the fuck, dog? Like, dude really got this shit down to a science, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the amount of money. Taking a look at his scam script, look there were some very dog. interesting look things in there that was said, bro. such as that he was fighting in Syria, he had light grey hair and blue eyes, which he clearly didn't have. Man, no fucking way! No way, dog. And also that he enjoyed travelling, going to the beach and camping. However, I was surprised that he didn't include scamming in here. <laughs> Another thing that I watched him do was save the images of the people. Bro. This nigga scamming a lieutenant in the army, dog. Like, come on, dog. A chief in the army is wild, bro. That he was impersonating for his romance scams. And I also watched as he changed profile every now and then. Funny enough, this scammer had also done his homework and his research on the people he was impersonating to make sure what he said was never wrong when speaking to the victims. I had also watched as he would go online mm. and download identity cards which he would then go on to edit and tweak around to commit identity fraud wow. and use someone else's identity. It was nasty watching him spend hours picking his nose, but it was funny seeing him try to sing. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna start turning my camera off. It's that easy to get hacked, bro? You mean to tell me I could be sitting here just chilling, scrolling on my on my shit, you hear me? And a nigga could just hack me and I wouldn't even know what nigga hacking and watching and seeing what everything I'm doing, boy. That's scary, dog. That's scary. Check out these dance moves that he decided to do. <laughs> it was obvious that this scammer was up to no good. However, some days I did hear him speaking to his girlfriend and talking about their love life and how they could improve it. Hello, baby. This scammer was a wannabe gangster as I saw him sagging his pants, drinking and smoking at the exact times when he wasn't doing any scams. <laughs> I even saw hey, this scammer starting to pray when he crazy. received this message from an elderly lady victim. These people were morally evil. Oh, Listen closely man. to what you're about to hear them talk about. Oh, Guys. This is just one of our house for this. This is just sell out. Sell out. How would they call this woman? Give her American words. You heard it correct. They were just speaking about another victim from someone in the background who they have made sell their whole house wow. in regards to a scam. This is when I knew these people were evil minded and that we had to stop all of them. Wow. I'd also seen the people in the background come to the computer, but there was no proof that they were also scamming, apart from this one individual who he was teaching how to hack Facebook accounts. And then, if you have one number, 
this one now, this from the scene and from this from the ravine and this, I won't face that much of that. Luckily, I was able to report all of these Facebook accounts and my mm -hmm. friend who works at Meta removed them all in less than four hours. I also submitted a detailed police report to the EFCC in Nigeria, who are the equivalent of the cybercrime police force, uh -huh. including the name, location, and proof of scams. Uh -huh. Hopefully they take action on this group of scammers, and now it was time for me to expose them. It was going to be hard as these scammers never enjoyed getting on a phone call, so the only way I could get them on a phone call was acting as the victims of one of these scams. I was going to act as an old lady who just made a payment to him and I wanted to give him the surprise. However, the only surprise he was going to receive was me showing him his own face on his computer and confronting him about his scams. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hello, Skype. can you hear me? Are you on your computer yet? Okay, why don't you send me the login of the wallet? Can you hear me? I'm on my computer. I'm on my computer now. I'm on my computer now. Okay, give me one second. Let me go okay, to I'm waiting. I work, I've been working quite hard to get you this gift, sweetie. It's been taking me some time. Mm. And I'm going through a lot knowing this just to... Just I am holding his nose talking, brother. <laughs> oh my God, you sound so cute. You sound so cute. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound so cute, sweetie. How old are you? Oh my god, this call is going far. Okay, can you just yeah. give me okay, the link? Okay, get ready for the link. It's www. Okay. Okay, wait, look. I want you to do. Can you just thing. can you just paste me the link on Skype or WhatsApp? Okay, look at your Skype. I'm gonna send you the link. Okay, okay I'll be waiting. Oh uh, wait. Stay okay, on the phone. so I end the call. Tell me... No, don't end the call. Don't end the call. I need you to. I need you to get ready for your surprise. Look, it's quite a lot of money. I'm gonna send you. <laughs> so, okay. You can you? Let's let's count down from three. Let's do three, two, one, and then I'm gonna send you the gift on Skype, okay? Okay. Okay. Did you see oh. it on the computer? Yeah. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna tell you the amount of money I'm gonna send you, <laughs> but I need you to count down with me. Look how you holding this nose is that funny okay? though. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do it. Let me hear you say three, two, one. Let me hear you say it. Three, two, <laughs> one. Wait, before we get into the best part, let's talk about Aura. Oh, no, 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 Have no. Have you no. ever wondered if scammers like this had your personal information? No. On your screen. Not at all. Do you not see it? It should be on your screen now, honey. <laughs> you not see it? Darling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two. One. No. On your screen. <laughs> Not at all. You don't see it. You should be on your screen. Oh, I'm trying now, to honey. duck you. Yeah. <laughs> you not see it, darling. That boy trying then... to duck, man. Trying to shut it down. Hello, darling. Can you see the gift? Is that you? Is that you on the screen, darling? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's... Wow. Yeah, listen, sir, you're not, you're not going to be escaping. I know you can hear me, okay? I know you can hear me, sir. Don't laugh. I know you're a little scammer, okay? Don't try to run away now. Oh, he got that boy. innocent American victim? Are you <laughs> At this point, I thought I had lost him, but I was wrong, as he turned on his computer the mm. very next day for round two. Yo, buddy, why are you still scamming people? I know you can hear me. Why are you still scamming people? <laughs> yeah, cover your webcam, you little b Damn. Yeah, I'm going to send the police to your house. Yeah, cover the webcam. I'm sending the police to your house, you little b How does it feel you're a scammer? 
Stop scamming Brother, people. Expose that boy for real, for real. You stupid scammer. Look at your face. Look at your face. Yeah, covering the webcam won't do nothing, buddy. Look, I could just keep bringing it up, buddy. Look. Furthermore, he even decided <laughs> to give me a call on Skype to finish it all off. Oh. Yep, hello? Hello, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? you Why are you scamming innocent people? How is there something wrong with me? I think You're there's something wrong mind. with me. You're I'm gonna <laughs> send the mad and cursed, though. Make sure you head over to Trilogy That's Media's wow. channel to watch how we expose this other scammer. Look at your face, you little scamming face. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you little scamming piece of. <laughs> I'm gonna block your computer. He was like watching the video. Oh my god, dude! Oh, that's wow, bro. Man, let me know if y'all if y'all ever pulled off a scam in the chat. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't type that in my comments. But thank y'all for watching the video, man. It's your boy Poncho, man. And we out. You dig?